I'm curious about yesterday's ruling in the Ninth Circuit Court. Has it caused you to rethink your use of executive power, and how will you respond, and will you sign new executive orders or perhaps a new travel ban? And Mr. Prime Minister, I'm curious about your reaction to America's withdrawal from the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP. Do you think uh, that that's weakened America's po uh, position in Asia, and how do you think how do you envision any sort of trade deal with the President working out? Well, your question was unrelated to what we're here for today, but I'll answer it. Uh, we are going to keep our country safe. We are going to uh, do whatever is necessary to keep our country safe. Uh, we had a decision which we think we'll be very successful with. It shouldn't have taken this much time, uh, because uh, safety is a primary reason. One of the reasons I'm standing here today is the security of our country. The voters felt that I would give it the best security. So we'll be doing something very rapidly uh, having to do with additional security for our country. You'll be seeing that sometime next week. In addition, we will continue to go through the court process, and ultimately, I have no doubt that we'll win that particular case. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'd like to pick up where, where Daniel left off, if you don't mind. Um, you said earlier this week, and I'm quoting for you, you said, I've learned a lot in the last two weeks, and terrorism is a far greater threat than the people of our country understand, but we're going to take care of it. Based off of what you have learned, and now knowing that your executive order is at least temporarily on hold, do you still feel as confident now as you have been at any point uh, that you and the administration will be able to protect the homeland? And Mr. Prime Minister, thank you. I, I would just like to pick off again on what Daniel had asked about TPP. Um, do you feel it's a mistake that the United States has at least signaled its intention to withdraw from the deal? Thank you both. I feel totally confident that we will have tremendous security for the people of the United States. We will be extreme vetting which is a term that I developed early in my campaign because I saw what was happening. And while I've been president, which is just for a very short period of time, I've learned tremendous things that you could only learn, frankly, if you were in a certain position, namely president. And there are tremendous threats to our country. We will not allow that to happen. I can tell you that right now. We will not allow that to happen. So we'll be going forward. Uh, we'll be doing things to continue to make our country safe. Uh, it will happen rapidly. And we will not allow people into our country who are looking to do harm to our people. We will allow lots of people into our country that will love our people and do good for our country. It's always going to be that way, at least during my administration. I can tell you that.